Hi, and welcome to Living in El Paso, Texas. In this episode, we're going to talk about how you can own a piece of El Paso history. Hi, my name is John Pena. I'm a real estate agent with EXP here in beautiful El Paso. And on this channel, we talk all things El Paso. Eat, sleep, work, play. If that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, by all means, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you know when new videos come out. And if you are considering a relocation or a move to El Paso, please consider reaching out to us at Pena El Paso. And in this episode, we are going to kind of follow through on some of the previous episodes we've done. A while back, my wife and I, Leah, took a architectural tour and it was of basically Trost, Henry Trost and his brother formed Trost and Trost and they, in the early 1900s, I believe it was the 30s, 40s, they built a lot of the buildings in downtown El Paso. So if you haven't seen that episode, uh, I'll put a card up here so you can check that out. And then for October, for our Halloween episode, we actually kind of spotlighted Sunset Heights because there's a lot of folklore and there's a lot of ghost stories about Sunset Heights and it is absolutely one of my favorite neighborhoods in El Paso. It has so much history. It's super close to downtown. You can literally walk uh, to downtown. It has epic views of Juarez. It's just a, a beautiful community that's been around for a long time. And in this episode, there is actually a home currently for sale in Sunset Heights that was built and designed by Trost and Trost. And so we were fortunate enough to interview the owner of this home. It's absolutely beautiful. And she is going to kind of just walk us through the architecture and some of the stories. And so, uh, like I said, I thought being a real estate agent, I don't do a lot of really pushing specific properties, but this one is different. I mean, this is, you know, this one is registered with a historic society. It's built by Trost himself, and it's in a, just an epic location. So I hope you enjoy our little uh, home tour of 607 West Yondell. Welcome to Living in El Paso, Texas. My name is John Pena. I'm a real estate agent with EXP, and I have the distinct pleasure of touring one of the most beautiful homes in Sunset Heights, 607 West Yondale. And the homeowner is... Um, hi, my name is Amparo Barrens. Welcome to our house. This house is made by 19, 1912 by uh, Henry Trust, Trust and Trust. And it's just a one of unique, beautiful homes. Uh, if you can see all the wood and all the stained glass, original from 1912. The, the, uh, the most beautiful thing about this house is that th we have different woods. We have the type of wood that is right here in the stairs. This, uh, this uh, wood came from Africa. And you can see the lining of the wood. That's why they call him uh, the tiger wood. Same thing with the stained glass over here, made by Wyman Carpenter. Original from 1912. They put that um, at the same time that they were building this house. Over here, we have the dining area. The chandeliers, the original from 1912. They have 1700s, I have 1800s. And you can see the uh, glass. And uh, they have three different colors, the three, three different golds, the silver, the, the white gold, the, the, the rose gold, and the uh, gold gold. And it's just a beautiful, a beautiful piece that belongs to this beautiful home. Same with this uh, 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 little chandeliers too, and the wall. We can see too that we have right there the uh, original stained glass. It's a tulip. I always, I thought that I always think that it was backwards because you can see the tulip, you know, down. But it's it's just the way that the doors they're 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 they were built. So you can 
see how beautiful these stained glass is. Uh, I have a very funny story. My husband, when he was little, uh, because this house came from three generations, you know, the great-grandmother and then my uh, mother-in-law and then my husband, the Kenyan parents, that it's him. He's a beautiful man. He already passed away. And, uh, and when he was little, he thought that this house never gonna burn. So he got a little candle and he decided to play. And we decided to leave it this because every dinner or every conversation, the little bird comes into, you know, with everybody, grandkids, uh, nephews and nieces. So it was a nice thing to save. I, I thought that it was so cute. <laughs> but anyways, and then over here, you can see uh, part of the, of, of, of the same, you know, uh, we have doors that they can open and you can close it so you can have more privacy. And uh, we have the same thing. We have the amethyst chandelier that you don't see this um, glass anymore. And then the beautiful uh, chimney and, uh, and it's just a, a, a beautiful home. Original windows, original floor. This chandelier is a super chandelier and it's just a gorgeous chandelier. And over here is the library. The library, um, now it's our living area, uh, family gathering, and uh, and you can see the, you know, all the space of this, of this, of this place. Uh, my husband uh, decided to bring this paper that it was made by hand. Uh, from San Francisco and I think that it makes the, the room more warm and, and more beautiful. This is one of our little cute original bottoms. You can see in this hallway with a beautiful home markers paint. <laughs> you have the stairs that they used to have uh, the servants to use. It's right here. You can see it. And then over here. see a little middle area that we have. My husband and I, we went to an auction and we got just the, 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 the bones of the chandelier and me and my husband decided to, to build it. So it has a lot of meaning to me. It's a beautiful place. It's like this, a beautiful ch chandelier. This is the hallway. This is one of the bedrooms. You can see the space of the bedroom. This is one. And then we can go, uh, the same thing, uh, chandeliers, they, they're just glass, they're crystal. You can see all in the wall that they work just with a little switch. They're just a beautiful items. Over here in the other bedroom. Same oak all over the doors and the and uh, part of, of, of the room. Original uh, chandelier too. We have a uh, a balcony. That you can enjoy the city and my neighbors. <laughs> Very good neighbors, by the way. Very peaceful area to live.
for the full bar. Here we have another area that's some few closets. This is one of a, a, another room. My, my son have it like for a big room. Original chandeliers too, the two closets. And this is a little sunroof that my son has his bedroom because he loves the stars. He loves to see the city. And the most beautiful thing in the mornings is that we have the cathedral there and you can hear the bells in the morning. It's just nice. Over here we have uh, an antique bathroom. That is very unique. It's, it's just nice. <laughs> this, is, this is our house. This is your home. You're welcome. 